since the 90s. The kits, the style of play, the style of haircuts. But one thing I've noticed is that goalkeepers are a different breed. sort of bloke you'd avoid eye contact with in the pub. Absolutely nuts. Look at some of today's Premier League goalies. They're fresh faced, fresh out of school, the modern day technically gifted sweeper keeper. Now look at these absolute maniacs from the 90s. They look like they could be the dads to today's keepers. Just take a look. And Neville Southall right here. He's the same age as me. You're just too good to be true. Did you know that in the 94-95 season, 18.18% of first team Premier League goalies had a moustache? That doesn't include Craig Forrest from Ipswich, who had a goatee. Craig Forrest famously being the Ipswich goalie in that 9-0 demolition at Old Trafford. He later said he was quite glad actually because he thought it was 10. He was quite relieved it was only 9. Steve Grizovic from Coventry City. He's one of those blokes you'd see down the pub with a rugby shirt on tucked into his jeans. They just don't make them like Steve Grizovic anymore. I've made a few references to the fact that a lot of these 90s goalies just look like everyday hard nuts you'd see down the pub. But fun fact, Neville Southall is teetotal. They weren't all like that though, especially outside of the Premier League. The 90s showcased the more flamboyant goalkeeper in South America. Take Jose Luis Chilavert. If you watched Nick Hancock's Football Nightmares back in the day, he's the one who has scored penalties. Chilaver, preparado Navarro Montoya. Ya hizo uno de tiro libre. Chilaver. Free kicks. Atención Burgos, atención. Ahí va Chilaver, le entró. Gol de Paraguay. Lo hizo Chilaver de tiro libre. And all kinds of crazy ass goals. Luego Chilaver. Did you know that in his professional career, he scored a whopping 67 goals, with eight of those goals coming in international duty for Paraguay. Back to the Premier League for a moment, and did you know the great Dane, Peter Schmeichel scored 11 goals in his professional career. One of those for Denmark, and this one right here for Man United. When I say Knights goalkeepers were a different breed, this man right here is a prime example. Okay, he might not have had the moustache. He kind of had quite childlike blonde hair, but don't let those long blonde flowing locks fool you. We all know what a beast Michael was. Probably most famously known for just shouting at his Man United defence. Six foot four and almost 16 stone, he wore specially made triple XL shirts, which obviously this one isn't. This is one of my childhood shirts. Triple XL shirts, we all know what 90s football shirts are like. They're just incredibly oversized anyway, so a triple XL shirt must have been like a bed sheet. So, according to the Quickly Kevin podcast with the man behind me right here, Neville Southall. Neville was actually supposed to have an interview with Alex Ferguson before they signed the Great Dane, Peter Schmeichel. But 
Ferguson was put off after that infamous incident at half time when Big Nev decided to just stay out on the pitch at half time with the fans and just sat against the goalpost. Neville Southall out of the Everton dressing room, well ahead of his colleagues. Really, whatever's been said in there, he doesn't feel relates to him. He's made three transfer requests already this season. And his contract with the club stretches until 1996, and they're holding him to it for the moment. But Neville looks less than happy with his lot these days. Now, can you imagine, like, Aaron Ramsdale at half-time at the Emirates, just having a paddy and kicking off and just chilling against the goalpost? It just wouldn't happen, because do you know why? These guys, the Knights goalkeepers, were a different bloody breed. David Seaman, Bruce Grobelar, John Lukic, Pavel Cernacek, Ian Walker. Nah, maybe we leave Ian out of this one. He kind of looks a bit like Mark from Take That. Girl, what you been? What you been? Not all goalies had to look like your dad, though. Some were just uniquely nuts in their own way. Like David Calamity James. Cole will challenge James. Back to the South Americans now, and who can forget the Mexico goalie in his flamboyantly 90s shirts? Georgie Campos raised the bar on 90s kits. If you're a fan of 90s football kits, by the way, hit that subscribe button as we've got loads of football videos coming your way on 90s kits. And also, whilst you're there, just drop us a comment below what was your favourite Knights goalkeeper kit? Maybe it was that crazy David Seaman England away refresher kit. Maybe it was that weird Newcastle one or the Liverpool one that Adidas did with like the squiggle on the front. The night is had loads of crazy goalie shirts and uh, I'm going to have great fun, hopefully getting some in as well and just reliving the awesome kits. There must have been something in the water over that side of the world because we've got another one. Who can forget the Colombian goalie Rene Higuita? best known for the scorpion kick against England at Wembley. Red Nat. Goodness me, have you ever seen anything like that in your life? From a we need characters like this man back in the beautiful game. I'm going to be honest with you though. There's actually one nightest goalie I wasn't really a fan of. Ludek Miklosko. I single-handedly blame that man for costing Man United the 94-95 season. Okay, so some blame might have to go on Andy Cole because he missed like a dozen chances that day. And maybe a little bit of blame could go on Jack Walker for basically turning Blackburn into the Man City of that era. And all right, maybe some blame goes on Eric Cantona for missing half the season for this. Ludek definitely was a big game player. He raised his game when the Sky Sports cameras came on. Who can forget oh, when Bruce Grobelar and this man, Hans Seegers, the Wimbledon goalie, were done for match fixing. Their 90s were a crazy time in football. And ladies and gents, it wasn't just the goalkeepers that were a different breed. We've got plenty more videos coming up in the different breed series, such as 90s managers were a different breed. 90s football club owners were a different breed. Ladies and gents, drop us a comment below what sort of videos do you want to see next. I'm really enjoying this era of nostalgia. You know, what, what's to say that we can't just bypass the 90s and treat it like a forgotten time? No, I'm stuck in the bloody 90s and I'm going nowhere because ladies and gents, we're uploading at least one new full length feature video every Sunday along with numerous shorter videos. I think the cool kids call them reels, shorts, whatever you want to call them throughout the week. It's going to be fun. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, tell YouTube it was a good video. 
stick that thumbs up. And before we go, guys, drop us a comment below. What was your favourite 90s goalkeeper? And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Roy90sNostalgia. And I will see you next Sunday. Oh, yes. week.